The Gyrodyne Exron 1 was a one man, lightweight helicopter developed in the United States during the 1950s. It was created by the Gyrodyne Company of America under contract with the United States Navy. The goal was to produce a compact, portable helicopter for observation, liaison, and rescue missions. The concept centered on mobility, minimalism, and the ability to be deployed from submarines or small naval vessels. The X-RON-1 was a direct descendant of the Gyrodyne RON rotor cycle, first flown in 1954. It featured a coaxial rotor system, meaning two rotors spun in opposite directions on the same vertical axis. This design eliminated the need for a tail rotor, reduced complexity, and made the aircraft more compact. The helicopter was powered by a single 40-horsepower two-cylinder Porsche engine. It had a top speed of approximately 65 miles per hour, 105 kilometers per hour, a maximum altitude near 3,000 feet, 914 meters, and a range of around 30 miles, 48 kilometers. The airframe was extremely minimal, an open tubular steel structure with no cockpit enclosure. The entire aircraft weighed under 300 pounds. The pilot sat exposed to the elements using basic flight controls and simple instrumentation. It could be launched from small spaces, lifted by crane, or even parachuted in from larger aircraft. Testing took place throughout the late 1950s. Despite its innovative design and low cost, the Xron-1 was never mass-produced. Issues included limited payload, short range, and vulnerability to weather and small arms fire. Advancements in turbine-powered helicopters and unmanned aerial vehicles soon made the concept obsolete. Only a few units were built. Some have been preserved in aviation museums, such as the Smithsonian's Udvar Hazy Center. Today, the Xron-1 stands as a rare example of Cold War-era experimentation in personal rotary wing flight. Though operational use never materialized, the project contributed to ongoing research in vertical takeoff and landing design and single-pilot aviation.